Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and we love to help the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to prevent shoulder bumps or shoulder dimpling from occurring. Garments spend a majority of their time in the closet, and as I like to say, live or die by the hanger. A majority of the problems that a garment experiences can easily be prevented with proper hangers. If you have any questions or comments during this video, please ask them in the comment section below. I enjoy getting back to as many of those as I possibly can. So what causes shoulder bumps? Shoulder bumps are caused by hangers that are too narrow. When a hanger does not extend all the way to the shoulder, the weight of the garment is concentrated on the edge of the hanger and the middle of the shoulder. Over time, while a garment is hanging in the closet, this can cause the fabric to stretch and disfigure, leading to shoulder bumps or the collar of a suit jacket to deform. Shoulder bumps are annoying, and we've all seen someone walking around in an otherwise beautiful knit polo, but with huge bumps protruding from the middle of the shoulder. One size doesn't fit all whenever it comes to your clothing, and the same is true whenever it comes to your garments. This is why we at The Hanger Project offer multiple sizes to all of our hangers, allowing you to perfectly tailor the size of your hangers to your garment. So how can you eliminate shoulder bumps? You can eliminate shoulder bumps or dimpling by properly sizing your hangers to ensure that they extend all the way to the edge of the shoulder. So here I have my size 38, a Chris Despa suit. And so the properly sized hanger for this would be our small 15 and a half inch hanger. As you can see, this hanger extends all the way to the edge of the shoulder, thereby supporting the entire uh, shoulder line. But let's say that you were a larger gentleman and wore say like a 42 or a 44, and the jacket hanger only extended halfway through the shoulder. Then what you have is the entire weight of the garment pulling right here at the edge of the hanger in the middle of the shoulder line. Over time, as you hang your jacket in the closet, you're gonna have this area of the suit begin to deform and produce a bump. Now this is easily corrected with just a properly sized hanger that goes all the way to the edge of the shoulder or at least within a half or three quarters of an inch. The softer the construction of the jacket or the larger the jacket, the more important it is to have a hanger that extends all the way or as close to the shoulder edge as possible. The same is true for your shirts whenever it comes to shirt hangers, which is why we have four different sizes to our shirt hangers, from a 15, 17, 19, and 21 inch size. With shirt hangers, again, it's essential that the shirt hanger extend all the way to the edge of the shoulder. Now, if it's going to be either slightly wide or slightly narrow, for sure it's, we recommend that it's okay for the hanger to extend slightly past the shoulder into the sleeve, ensuring that your shirt hangers extend all the way to the shoulder or slightly past it will totally eliminate uh, the possibility of any shoulder dimpling or bumps from forming. And since softer knit polos are even more prone to stretching, we've developed one of the first and only sweater and polo hangers designed specifically for these garments. The sweater and polo hanger is quite different in that it has many features to further control the sweater or soft knit polo to prevent stretching and shoulder dimpling from occurring. There's three key features to this hanger. First, just like with all of our hangers, it's available in multiple sizes to ensure that you can tailor the size of your hanger to fit the width of your garments. Second, on our sweater and polo hangers, we've got a small uh, one and a quarter inch shoulder flare to offer the garment slightly more support than what you get from an ordinary shirt hanger. And lastly, and arguably probably most important, is that we flock or felt the end of these shoulders so that the friction of this flocking and the garment itself uh, prevents the garment from sliding down the hanger. This further helps prevent shoulder puckering, uh, but especially helps prevent any type of stretching at the collar. The most important thing you can do to take care of your garments to prevent shoulder bump is to hang them on a properly sized hanger. All of our luxury garment hangers here at The Hanger Project that I discussed today are available on hangerproject.com and of course are available in multiple sizes and multiple finishes. On our website, you'll find a complete sizing guide, but if you have any questions about sizing, of course, don't hesitate to reach out to customer service via email or over the phone. We also have a perfect fit guarantee. If for any reason your hangers do not perfectly fit, we'll exchange them at no cost for the proper size. 
One of the other benefits to my Hanger Project hangers is the fact that you can coordinate the finish of all of your hangers in your closet. So your suit and jacket hangers can match your shirt hangers and your sweater hangers. And I personally thoroughly enjoy walking into my closet and just having everything visually organized and matching. Here at the Hanger Project, we love to help the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. And it's small details like properly sized wooden hangers that are supporting your garment that make a dramatic difference in how your clothes look five, 10, or 15 years from now. So a small investment in proper hangers can really go a long way to helping you take care and preserve your wardrobe to ensure that every piece looks great whenever you pull it out of your closet. In today's video, I'm wearing my Chris Despis bespoke charcoal gray herringbone suit. As you can see, it's a single button. I've got Bessem pockets with the pockets tucked in, uh, just to add a little bit of sleekness and formality to this particular ensemble. Uh, this is absolutely one of my favorite suits. It was the first bespoke suit that I had Chris make for me. I'm wearing, of course, my trademark uh, white Charvet uh, dress shirt with horn collar stays. Uh, I've got a white Simonote Godard uh, pocket square. My trousers are tabbed uh, with flat pockets, a single reverse pleat. Uh, they're uncuffed, again, which I enjoy with all of my more formal suits. And then today I'm wearing my George Cleverly bespoke burgundy pigskin Baron Duridi loafers. Uh, these uh, are absolutely beautiful shoes. Uh, and then my socks, I have my favorite pair of socks, uh, which is my dark gray uh, Kirby Allison Sovereign Grade small dot melange dress socks. Now, on my wrist today, I'm wearing my Chopard Perpetual Calendar uh, dress watch with the retrograde date, uh, and I'm wearing my black crocodile strap. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, and please subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications by clicking the bell to the right of the subscribe button so that you can learn whenever we release new videos. If you have any questions or comments about anything we discussed on this video, please ask them in the comments section below. And of course, please visit hangerproject.com where we have the largest, most comprehensive collection of luxury garment care and shoe care accessories in the world, as well as many other incredible products for the well-dressed. And while you are there, subscribe to our newsletter to receive notifications of new product launches, promotions, as well as a weekly digest of all the videos we publish here on our YouTube channel. I'm Kirby Allison, thanks for joining me.